it's like a little bit different today. The truck's run out of MOT, so what we're going to do in today's video is get ready for Forex MOT. Now, as you just saw, the, it's been sat for a little while. Battery had died, so we had to put it on charge. That's all fine. What we're going to do is we're going to change these lights out for LED lights. That one, that brake light has never worked. Uh, I've changed the bulb, still doesn't work. So I've got some LED lights for that. So really, that's all that there is to do for its MOT. Obviously, I'll get MOT at a later date after this video, but just sort of in today's video, we're going to swap these out for LEDs. Right, guys. So we're going to start by... Right, so we're going to start by taking the light off pull the wires through on these these are the LEDs that we've got there's only six wires there so I don't know how many wires are on the other one we've got two reds two blues a white a black and a yellow oh, we've got seven wires sorry All right Hey guys, so we're back working on the lights now, obviously a couple of days later. It's been an absolute nightmare. This wire here, okay, um, was connected. I'll put a picture of where it was connected. And this was connected obviously into this light here. Now that was an afterthought because it was cable tied to the existing loom that run all the way in to the van. Now, what's that? I am pretty certain that that wire is for this switch here. I don't know what it does. I know that connects onto there. Um, but I don't know what that switch does. It goes to that light. If anyone may know what it is, do let me know in the comments, but I don't have a clue. Anyway, going back to the mountain hand. From this light, the tail light has never worked. Sorry, I'm on that one there. The tail light has never worked. So, I bought a tester, so you you connect that onto the ground, and then with your indicator on, you can test that. I'll show you guys. Right, so we've now got it on the brown, on the black. Sorry, now I've worked out that the blue, its indicator, as you can see, that's flashing up. So that was my way of testing. Right, let me just turn the hazards off. That was my way of checking which wire does what. So obviously this is the loom. Again, we had this loom. I don't actually know what it was doing. But there was no reverse on that light. All that was working from that light, thinking back now, was the indicator, the stop light, and that's pretty much it. No fogs on these. Um, I'll show you on this one here. So, these are the tail lights. This is the stop light, this is the indicator, and this is the reverse. All of them work fine. But, for some reason, grab that. <coughs> Should be the reverse. Reverse tail light. Yeah, that's right. Reverse tail light, stop light, indicator. This never worked. Stop light worked fine. Indicator worked fine. There was no reverse. As you can see from that, it doesn't have the white for the reverse anyway, it was always on the left side. 
Anyway, these new LEDs, which you can see I've fitted one there. We've got fog on the light, but we're not going to be using fog. We've got, we might do, but there's no loom to the fog. We've got the tail light and the stop light all into this unit here. As you can see the reverse and our indicator. Now on this side, check in all of those wires. The only wires that are live is obviously the ground, the stop light and the indicator. Now I can't find a feed for the reverse fog or tail light. So what we are going to do, we're going to use the ground off of this wire, we're going to use the indicator off of this wire and we're going to use the stop wire. I would assume that would be the reverse. I've checked the fuses as well. It works on the other side. Let me just focus that. If it will. No, nope. yep, yeah, there we go. So you would assume that would be a reverse and that would be a tail, but it's not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blank these off, these two, and then what I'm gonna do because I know that all of them work. So I'm gonna run, sorry, bloody camera's not. I'm gonna run two wires underneath, along there, along there, along there, to this light. Then that way, then that way, we have got full working lights on both sides of the truck. It's been an absolute nightmare. I've been calling auto electricians, um, you name it, I've tried it. Um, so yeah, that's the solution. Probably not the right way to do it, I don't know. Inevitably, you've got the wires that come from inside the cab. Once they're wired, they, they split off into two. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll see. Hopefully that will work. And then, yeah, that's one job that I've been itching to do. And also, because obviously they are LEDs, you need a resistor for the indicators. So we've got them. But I think they might be the wrong ones. I'm not sure. Because when, if you don't have them, the indicators start flashing. There's too much, I think it's too much current or not enough current going through them but they flash really quickly. And with the resistors, they flash as they should. I tried that earlier, and when it was flashing, it was very dim when I put the resistor on, so I don't know what resistor I do need. I shall find that out. But, that is the state of play, current state of play. We're gonna get set up. Um, and to connect the wires, we have got these little beauties, heat shrink, so they will do the job. So yeah, now going back to this, this will be used because a LED light to go on the top it is only magnetic magnetic rather but yeah we can get a hole through up here run it across down into there and get that wired up but that's for that's for another day right let me get set up get the camera on a on a tripod, do a bit of time lapse. Yeah, hopefully we can get this done today. So as you can see, I've done one light, I've not done the other one, I just want to get it through its MOT, and then after, we can just swap that over. We know that that works, and it's gonna work on the other side. So we're just waiting now to get MOT'd, fingers crossed.
So once it's MOT, we can go back to the garage, we can change the other light over, and I'll have a go at putting that beacon on the top. So, yeah, that's the plan. Try and get that all done in today's video to make a good, good little episode. So yeah, obviously I couldn't film putting the light on because the camera died, but hopefully I can show you on, on the other one. Okay, we're now back at the garage. Next job, to put this beacon, get that wired up. Now, like I said, there was a, I've uh, already made a start. There was an um, on off switch there. Uh, it had the ground, it had the negative and positive. They ran underneath all the way down to this backlight for some reason, I don't know. Um, so we've taken that wire out so what we're gonna do we're gonna that's magnetic so we've got a hole in the corner we can run that to up there sorry let me get up and show you there's the, the bung there so we can obviously stick it on the top there tape it down run it through that hole Jump it down. Come around this side, it's just be a bit easier to explain what it is that I'm going to be doing. So, it's going to come through up here somewhere. We're going to run it along here, down here, and then across to the switch and then from the switch it picks up we're going to pick up from the cigarette lighter as you can see i've obviously already made a start obviously we need to i think we need to put a fuse uh, in it i've ordered some um someone correct me but we're going to pick up the positive and negative from the cigarette lighter when the vehicle switched off that isn't live so it won't drain the battery um so yeah we're going to run the Cable's going to come down here, going to run across to that switch. That's how we're going to run the light, and just obviously to show you that it does work. You start the burn up. So there we have the light. Hit, click the switch on. There you go, off, on, off. There we go, perfect. Goes through all the different motions. So, that's where we're at with it at the moment. What I'm gonna do, um, I'm going to expose up the top there, feed that wire through, don't know if there's an easier way to do it, don't think there is, but we, yeah, we're going to crack on and get that done. Now, it is magnetic, but I want it to be permanently on there, is it worth bolting it down or, or masticking it down uh, with some like tiger seal or some sealant, if any of you guys have had one of them before know what you guys have done and what has worked best for you so it did come with that with the switch there so we could have the different uh, flashes and styles but I, I'm, not, I'm not worried about that. I just want it so obviously when I'm doing a recovery or or whatever that's on and also what I will do I'll get some little LED flashes for the fronts there um, and I'll hardwire them in to 
that switch as well. So yeah, that's where we're at at the moment, guys. So we've got the beacon on top. Just temporarily at the moment, we've run it along here. It's gone into this bung here. I'll stick a bit of silicon in there just to seal that. Jump down here and it's run it comes in there along i've took this off put it back on it's run all along inside that bit it runs down there comes down into there heat shrink into position there that then runs all the way to the switch but it then runs back from the switch along here into the cigarette lighter. So, let's see if it works. And there we have it guys, all wired up. Now I wired it wrong before. Uh, I teed it into the cigarette live. Um, done the wiring completely wrong so what we've got is we've got the um, black and the red the red wire goes into the middle from the LED beacon we've got the ground which tees in there and then it's grounded on that bolt there uh, we, we haven't this is just just to test it we've got a, a live from the battery to the positive on the switch and there you go lovely so obviously I've ordered uh, the, f the fuse um, to wire it into the live. What I'm going to do, I'm going to run, oh yeah, let's turn that off. I'm going to run uh, the live from straight from the battery up into here and into that. So yeah, it's getting a bit dark now, so we've still got to do is change that light but I have actually ordered some new LED lights because you see how far back that is the other ones are a bit come up to about there so and they look a bit nicer these just sort of look a bit a bit cheap so we'll see how we get on anyway I mean the, the, the whole diameter is at the back of 150 so I can still get the other lot wired in or maybe I'll wait for the new LEDs to come we can get them wired in I don't know we'll see let me turn that on and I'll show you hazards on original LED let me know what you guys think so put that beacon on one more time there we have it guys to the back brilliant well happy with that